could use some help over here. So, shall we begin? There are some tasks that I'm unequipped to handle myself, and I need your assistance. Excellent. As you've hopefully been made aware by now, the source of the weather phenomenon outside is a device that is under our control. Or rather, the lack thereof. Control. In order to solve this error, we'll need to acquire the weather machine's blueprints. They are in the wall safe just over there. If only it were that simple. The safe can only be opened with a key. A key that my beloved wife Cassie has chosen to hide in a very secure location. So secure that only she knows where it is. This is... Problematic, as she has been unwell and unresponsive for quite some time. That said, she is, was, a diligent note-keeper. I'm certain you could find out where she moved the key to if you were to search through her notes. You should find them all in our room upstairs. It is unlocked, so you should be able to just walk in. With my condition as it is, I'm unable to do this myself, and thus, my new friend, Task falls to you. You will? Oh, wie wunderbar. Best of luck. I could use some help over here. should have arrived a few years back. The old vault sure was something. You know, before the accidents. What if we go back to the surface? Nobody wants to know us. We should have arrived a few years back. The old vault sure was something. You know, before the accidents. Make it quick. been spread thin dealing with surface-side security concerns. My more menial tasks have started to slip through the cracks, however. I can tell you're equipped to handle much worse, but tackling some issues from my backlog would be of great service to me, at least as a start. There are three in particular who often bring up issues to me. You can start there. There are three residents that have been complaining about a myriad of concerns. Margaret, Lawrence, and Julio. Your best bet? to track them down. They're likely lounging about waiting for someone else to handle the hard work. They should have more than enough to keep you busy for the time being. Report back when it's been handled. In the meantime, I have other matters I need to attend to. Don't so, you be sorry please, to take me over there. excuse me? We got a system, and it works, damn it. Is there a reason you're loitering in my office? window a little.
we should have arrived a few years back. The old vault sure was something. You know, before the accidents. few years back. The old vault sure was something. You know, before the accidents. What if we go back to the surface? Nobody wants to know us. Maybe anymore. someone do so much better around here. What the hell are you doing in here? Get your filthy hands off her! Very well. But I'm sure you wouldn't appreciate a stranger manhandling you through the slums. This arrangement is in her best interest. I apologize. Truly. I'm just very protective of her. She was, is, my other half, and life is just not complete without her. Of course she has to free herself. I should have known. Yes, very well. If you would excuse me, I would like a moment with my wife. Come find me when you have the blueprints.
world shaking a while back. Security said there was nothing to worry about, though. Don't you be starting to change me like that. Seeing someone do so much good around here. I, I believe you have something for me. Did I ask you to snoop around in our personal affairs? That was and is none of your business. Forget the petty gossip and focus on the task at hand. Am I making myself clear to you? Now, the blueprints. Have you found them yet? It is a step, yes. You'll be provided more information shortly. You'll be patient. Remember, this is all new to you, but years in the making for us. Well, they're no good to you. I can read them. Go deliver them to my daughter, Audrey. She's the one who's leading the effort to repair the weather machine. Oh, and before I forget, um, our conversation earlier, in Cassie's room. Water under the bridge. Yes, I do hope we can keep that just between us. I'd hate for rumors to flutter about. Ah, the best. She is the most beautiful person. She keeps me balanced. We were never apart. And we collected the most wonderful memories together. <clears throat> Excuse me. This makes me rather emotional. Oh, and before you go off to Audrey, I would like you to indulge me in another thought exercise I've been meditating on. If you were to repair a ship by replacing it plank by plank, piece by piece, so much so that no single piece of wood from the original vessel remained, would you have a new ship? Or would it still be the original, only improved? <laughs> right you are, my friend. Both in the origins of the question and its complexity. Let's say for this example that we can agree that eventually it is a new ship. Because I think the more interesting question is, at what point does it become so? After half of the planks? After the final part is replaced? Perhaps the rudder? Or mast? If we were to change piece by piece, at what point do we become something entirely new? One moment. Let's perhaps hold on an answer. I'd rather that linger with you a bit. And you have important business to attend to. Now, off with you to see Audrey. She's buried in her books in the meteorology sector. I hope you have some good hiking boots. It's quite the trek. Safe travels. I could use some help over here.
You there! I don't know you. Why are you in my lab? Who told you? Never mind. Yes, I am indeed Andre Stoltz. And you are a sore thumb sticking out in my lab. Great. Introductions are out of the way. You know, there's enough chaos around here as it is. With the machine being broken, the clutter everywhere, and the electrified lunatics roaming about. So, unless there's something you're here for, would you kindly get the hell out of my lab? Oh, is it? Really? It looks perfectly fine to me. Clearly something went wrong here, don't you think? An astounding observation. Just groundbreaking. I... Sorry. I'm a bit on edge. I'm still trying to figure out how to repair the weather machine. But the documentation is missing, and as much as my father wishes I could magically be as brilliant as my mother, I just... Anyway, I'm sorry about the outburst. I suppose she needs something? this all the blueprints fantastic did my father send you are we hiring outside help for the mailroom now never mind that it doesn't matter all that matters is that i finally have these The name says it all. It used to be a machine that did the weather. You know, monitoring it, controlling it, just the usual stuff. I think we picked it up as a way to sweeten the pot when my father was getting the board to approve this vault. A bit of nepotism later, and here I am. My father refused to listen when I told him my talents are wasted on this machine, but in the end, the research fell off after the bombs fell. Later, we found a very important reason to look into it again, of course. Which, I'm not really comfortable sharing more on. Sorry, we did just meet, after all. To summarize, this machine is important. My father wants it fixed, and I'd very much like father to stop pestering me about it. Yes, yes, very excellent parcel delivery. Off with you, then. You actually... Well, wait a moment. A helpful menu could be quite useful. Could you give me two seconds to read this? Here's a little reward for you. Count your bottle caps while I go over these blueprints. Come back when you're ready for more work. 